creepy facts about our world. The Devil's Bible exists and is said to be a contract between a 13th century monk and Satan. Also known as the Codex Gygus, it's the largest Latin manuscript known to the world and contains a full page portrait of Satan. Ancient Romans believed that drinking blood would let them absorb power. During gladiator games at the Colosseum, members of the audience would rush into the field to ravage the blood off of fallen gladiators. The Museum of the Souls of Purgatory in Rome, Italy displays documents signed by haunted souls in purgatory. The small museum displays several documents and photos with handprints that they claim to be from the dead or souls stuck in purgatory. Your bed might have up to 10 million dust mites in it right now. Dust mites love warm beddings and skin cells, which makes your bed an ideal home for them. They're microscopic and multiplied by the tens of thousands. This is unbelievable. Chinese scientists have successfully used stem cell technology to grow deer antlers on mice, resulting in a major breakthrough that could one day see humans regrow lost limbs. The researchers were able to identify and extract the cells responsible for the rapid growth of antlers on deer, and then transplant these cells onto the foreheads of the mice. And just 45 days later, these mice started growing growing small stumps that actually contained cartilage and bone. The team hopes that this procedure could one day help repair bones or cartilage in humans. Or potentially even grow back lost limbs. The question is, is this exciting or just weird? The past couple of years, we've been seeing more and more of these cases of mothers throwing their newborn babies in the garbage. You've probably heard of this case in 2023 when 19-year-old Alexia Treviso gave birth to her baby in a hospital bathroom, which then she threw her baby in the trash can and her baby did not survive. Another 19-year-old in New Mexico named Alexis Avila also threw her newborn son in a dumpster behind a shopping mall. Luckily, the baby was found alive by three people who were looking through the garbage. Now, last week, another baby baby was found in a dumpster behind an apartment complex in Houston after someone heard a baby crying. When EMS arrived, they pulled the baby out of the trash bag with his umbilical cord still attached and based on the baby's condition, it was obvious that he was just born. Police looked at surveillance footage and realized that this 18-year-old named Everilda, who worked at a taco truck beside the apartment, gave birth inside the truck and then threw the baby in the dumpster. She was then arrested and she did admit to it and said that she did it because she feared that her boyfriend would break up with her. See, my thing is, if you cannot keep the baby for whatever reason, there are other options. You can drop the baby off at a hospital and a lot of times they won't even ask you for anything. Why are we throwing babies in the garbage? This 18 year old was charged with abandoning a child without intent to return and her bond was set at $200,000. The unsolved final footage of Lars Matank is just as chilling as it is confusing. But the story really starts back in 2014. This is 28-year-old Lars, and he ends up taking a trip to Bulgaria with his friends. So at a night out at a bar, he ends up getting into an argument with several unknown men, which results in a fight, and he ends up rupturing his eardrum. Because of his injury, he insists that his friends are going to fly back without him, and he's just going to stay behind and recover for a few days. But as soon as he's left behind in the hotel, this is when the strange and erratic behavior becomes almost immediate, and he starts becoming paranoid and thinks there are men following him. Which then leads us to this final footage, where we see Lars arriving at the airport, presuming that he's there to catch a flight because he has luck luggage in hand, but then for an unknown reason we see him sprinting out of the terminal into the parking lot and this was the last time he has ever been seen on camera. To this day, what Lars thought he was running from or where he went remains a complete unknown in this case. And she says, hi, Jamila. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> what you doing? What you see? What? What you see? Uh-uh, who are you saying hi to? Who are you saying hi to? Dude, you need to stop that. You're freaking me out. Come on. Where are you waving at, Liz? Bye. 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 Bye.
Did you get my almost couldn't walk? She was old. She could walk, but she was old. Okay. Mommy, your grandma's here. And she says, Hi, Jamila. What? Your grandma's here. And she says, Hi, Jamila. Follow for more. The world's scariest unsolved mysteries. This picture shows unsolved mysteries from the most well-known to the darkest of the dark. Some of these mysteries will drive you crazy and make you question everything. In this series, we'll be picking some from each category until we reach tier 10, which will apparently make you and me question our entire existence. Without further ado, let's get into tier one. This is Malaysian Airlines Flight 370, and it's one of the most famous unsolved mysteries of all time. Now, on the 8th of March, 2014, the plane was flying from Kuala Lumpur International Airport to Beijing capital. However, the plane never reached its destination. After just over two hours, the flight disappeared off the radar, and ATC had no contact with the plane. Days after the mysterious disappearance, people started looking into it, but found absolutely nothing. Not even any debris was actually found initially. It's believed that the plane could have actually been hijacked. And it's also, of course, possible that the plane did just crash somewhere in the sea, but nothing was found. Make sure you hit that follow button so you don't miss tier two. It's about to get crazy. Here are some events that will happen by the year 2050. The sad truth is, by the year 2050, half of the world's population will not have access to clean drinking water. Half of the Amazon rainforest will be deforested, leaving many animals without any shelter at all. In 2025, SpaceX is sending their first cargo ship to Mars. And if all goes well, they are sending their first humans to Mars by the year 2050. So who knows, maybe by 2050, we will have the first civilization on Mars. Animals are getting more dangerous and more powerful every year. Animals are evolving every day, becoming more of a threat to society. I'm not talking about your regular house pet, I'm talking about wild animals. For instance, in 2020, we found the first flying spider, your worst nightmare. You thought the coronavirus was bad? Well, by 2050, there could be more deadly viruses affecting the world than ever before. You better keep that face mask. The population will be 9.6 billion. Yo, what's up? Here's some scary facts about our world that you probably didn't want to know, part 10. It has been said that in some cases, if you hear ringing in your ear, it could be signs of a dead family member trying to contact you. Hey, grandma. Many statistics have shown that blue-eyed people are more likely to suffer from alcoholism and depression than anyone else. You've got to be kidding me. There have been some cases reported of doctors selling their patients' blood on the dark web. Number one, why would a doctor need to make any more extra money? Number two, why are you selling a patient's blood on the dark web? One time, a lady found toenails in her chicken nuggets at McDonald's. There's a reason I don't eat McDonald's. Four actors from The Poltergeist died shortly after the filming of the movie because they thought there was a hanging curse over the movie that caused them to die. Imagine your best friend sleeping with your six-year-old daughter and that's not even the worst part of it. He films it and keeps it in his phone. This is one story that will live in your head rent free haunting and frankly disturbing. So this story happened in Russia in September of 2021 and it's about two friends, 32 year old Oleg and 34 year old Vyacheslav who they say have been best friends for a very long time. Vyacheslav was married with kids he and his wife had about two children at the time and so every once in a while Maybe when either of them are busy or when both of them were busy, Vexlov would leave his children in the hands of his best friend Oleg to babysit till either he or his wife returns from work. And also for the fact that to the kids, Uncle Oleg was an uncle. He was pretty much family. Little did they know that something was wrong with Uncle Oleg. The whole story unfolded from August of 2021. And it so happened that one day while the two friends were hanging out in a bar, Vex Love picked Oleg's phone just to go through it for fun. And that was when he stumbled upon a video that looked off. He clicked on the video and saw his friend, the two-year-old man, sexually assaulting his six-year-old daughter. And that set him off. It was said that he confronted Oleg and immediately Oleg ran away because at this point, his cover has blown. Not only was he molesting his best friend's daughter, 
There were videos of him molesting about seven other children in his phone multiple times. Click the link on our bio to get 820,000 Naira bonus with 150 free spins to win exciting prizes using our promo code TCD to register. Creepy facts you probably don't know, but you're about to. Part two. At one time, doctors thought that babies didn't feel pain. It took up until 1987 for the American Academy of Pediatrics to declare that it was unethical to operate on babies without anesthesia. So that means for years, babies were forced to just sit there and suffer through surgery without any form of pain control or anesthetics so yeah that's kind of scary these are eight horrifying facts that will probably keep you up at night when apollo 11 landed it only had 20 seconds of remaining fuel four months ago a deceased rapper by the name gunyu had his corpse on stage while fans were partying around his body the average person wastes five months of their lives waiting for red lights to turn green cruise ships have morgues just in case someone you know during the trip if you have red eyes after swimming it's not from chlorine, it's from the chlorine mixing with other people's urine. The furthest part of the ocean from land is Point Nemo. If you get stuck there, you're not coming back. Sunburn are your cells dying to avoid being cancerous. Most laugh tracks and shows are people from the 50s, which means you're hearing the laughter of dead people. Yeah, there's a lot more, like for part 14. cute animals that are actually horrifying part one i know we all think of walruses as cute little fellas that make for great stuffed animals but what if i told you they have a habit of sucking the brains out of baby seals while they're still alive Walruses normally use their incredibly strong suction to vacuum clams out of their shells, but some wanted something a little meatier, and have used their strong suction for a much more sinister purpose, which I call the death hickey. They grab a young seal with their flippers, wrap their lips around the poor guy's nose, and turn on the vacuum, sucking the brains out through the seal's nose like it's drinking a smoothie. After it's had its appetizer, it hickeys off some other pieces of seal meat until it's done with its meal. But the wrath of walruses isn't limited to seals. I went into various walrus attacks on people in my latest YouTube video if you guys want to check it out. Here's the dark truth behind The Wizard of Oz. The actress that played Dorothy Judy Garland was actually drugged and molested during filming. She was also given adrenaline shots so that she could stay up to sometimes more than 48 hours in a row. And there was also reports that she was molested and sexually harassed by both the Munchkin actors and studio executives. The actress that plays the Wicked Witch also got horrifically burned on set. In this scene where the Wicked Witch escapes Munchkin Land in a plume of smoke, the pyrotechnics team accidentally set off the explosion a little too early which caused the actress's broom, hat, and makeup to catch on fire. Medics had to use alcohol to remove her toxic makeup, which was extremely painful due to her burns. And the fake snow in this scene was made using asbestos, which causes cancer. Recent Discoveries Part 2 Just last month, archaeologists examining a newly discovered ancient Egyptian cemetery found this lid on the coffin of an ancient priestess. It's clear that whomever arranged for her funeral wasn't prepared to pay top dollar for her burial. The internet has also pointed out that the image closely resembles Marge Simpson, even though the coffin is more than 3,000 years old. Last year, a perfectly intact 1,500-year-old era was discovered nestled between some rocks in Norway. The research team thinks it was encased in ice, then transported downslope as the ice melted. An amateur diver exploring shallow waters near Israel recently discovered this 900-year-old iron sword. Experts believe it belonged to a crusader knight before he lost it overboard during a fierce battle in the 11th century. An incredible discovery was recently made during renovations at a church in Naples, Italy. Behind a 16th century painting called Life of San Severo, workers found a hidden painting depicting St. George slaying a dragon. These are scary facts about popular childhood movies, part one. Up first, Claire Blandick, who played Auntie M in The Wizard of Oz, suffered from arthritis that was so painful that she committed suicide at the age of 85. 
She did her hair and makeup one final time and put on a nice dress before overdosing on sleeping pills. She then left a note that said, I am now about to make the great adventure. I cannot endure this agonizing pain any longer. It's all over my body. I pray the Lord my soul to take. Amen. Next up in the movie The Adventures of Milo and Otis, it's been reported that upwards of 20 cats were killed during the filming of the movie. There's a lot of speculation behind this because the film somehow got the approval of the American Humane Society, despite not having their officers present during filming. Blood curdling facts that you wish you never knew, part 19. Facebook was forced to shut down two artificial intelligence robots named Alice and Bob because they started communicating with one another in their own language. If you ever win the lottery, you're 120 times more likely to be killed by an immediate family member. A sloth has nipples in its armpits. In the 17th century, there was a man named Tare who could eat his entire body weight in just one sitting. And despite being pretty skinny, he would swallow live animals, eat human corpses, and was even accused of eating the body of a three-year-old toddler. An 11-year-old boy named Conorak escaped Jeffrey Dahmer's apartment, but was later returned to Dahmer by police, and he killed the boy just 30 minutes after. It's commonly believed in religion that angels look like this, but according to the Bible, they actually look like this. Disturbing facts that may ruin your day. This 82-year-old woman went to the doctor for pelvic pain. She had been carrying a mummified fetus in her womb for over 40 years. The fetus was completely calcified and deemed the stone baby. Alcohol kills one person every 10 seconds worldwide. As whales reach old age, they don't have the strength to come up to the surface for air. This causes them to drown and sink to the bottom of the ocean. Phil Lewis, aka Mr. Mosby from the Disney Channel, was arrested for manslaughter and driving while intoxicated back in 1991. Due to scorching hot summers, Siberian bears have been digging up dead bodies from nearby cemeteries for food. It's like they see the cemeteries as giant refrigerators. Refrigerators have magnetic doors now because children used to die in them. Before the 1950s, refrigerators could be only opened from the outside. Toddlers' teeth are right below their eyes. form of demon that has been known to possess animals or humans. What's terrifying is that you could see that the water sounded and looked like it actually hit something before falling to the ground. So even though we couldn't see it, we could hear it and you could see that the water physically hit it. This is one of the most terrifying urban legends I've ever heard. And it ended up being true. But in Canada, there was this legend that one night a bunch of people saw a bright blue light in the sky and the next day an entire village of people disappeared. But it turns out that legend is rooted in something that really happened. This is coming from this week's episode. I have a whole series on urban legends that ended up being true and it's a very scary listen. So in Canada in 1930, a fur trapper named Joe LaBelle was riding in the river in his canoe when he came to a village he had seen before. Except this time when he came upon it, it looked like everyone had left in a hurry. Food was still cooking and a bunch of dogs were barking and super hungry as if they had been left behind. But the strangest part of all of this was in the middle of the community, there was a grave that had been disturbed. And that reminded the fur trapper of a very scary story he had heard. The legend of the torn rack, which was this demon that supposedly stalked the area. So he starts looking for someone who might know what happened to these people. They were a nomadic people. It didn't make any sense that they would have left all of their stuff behind. And that's when he finds a man in a hospital who was potentially part of the village. The man is so freaked out. He won't say anything at first, but eventually Joe gets him to talk and he recognizes one word that the man says. Tornrak, the name of the evil deity that was potentially in the area. 
The police basically don't believe any of this, but they do acknowledge that before the disappearance, they did see blue lights in the sky that no one has been able to figure out what they were. I get more into the theories of what may have happened in this episode, and I also talk a little bit more about other urban legends that ended up being true. Hey, remember this nonsense of the Cheetah Gator? Yeah, this was real and there was a time where it was everyone's problem. Its actual name is the Oari Pasukas, and his hood is in what is now South America and Africa. And the memes are true, he was a land op meaning he would run his prey down. Scientists believe the Oari Pasukas would have galloped after its prey. Luckily for everything around it, it was actually a mini-me that only grew to about 3-5 to five feet long and it probably only ate small lizards, mammals, and dinosaur hatchlings. Now if this guy pulled up on you, it would be a very different movie. Caprosuchus Saharicus was a 23 foot middle finger with teeth that looked like it belonged to a feral pig, which is actually why they were nicknamed the Boar Croc. And unlike crocodiles today, whose eyes are at the top of their head, the Caprosuchus' eyes were more lateral. You might not realize it, but that's very bad. Because instead of just hiding in the water with just its eyes above the surface, this assault weapon with teeth had binocular vision and depth perception, meaning not only was it catching bodies on land, it was probably chasing them down too. And unlike its smaller cousin, it probably clapped dinosaurs. And if Google's right, this 23 foot monster with board jaws would have been almost as fast as Usain Bolt, and they would have attacked you by slamming their snout into you like a sledgehammer. The only reason they're not around today is even nature knows when it's gone too far. CERN has accidentally opened multiple portals all around the world, and strange creatures are coming out, part two. They have discovered a new creature called a Draco Hound. Their diet has consisted of small berries, rodents, and other vegetation. Another animal that they discovered is called Flutterpaws. They've also found forest sentinels, which are beetle-like creatures, eating things like plant matter, fungi, and insects. Now the scary part is they found one of these portals under the ocean. Strange ships have been popping out of them. The technology in these ships are way more advanced than ours. And scientists believe that humanoid creatures are flying these things. Make sure you hit that follow button because part three is wild. I study astrophysics at university, the study of space, and from all my years of education, this is the scariest fact I know. There is a cosmological model for the future of the universe called the Big Rip, and it tells us how the universe might end. You've been warned. As our universe expands, it continues to speed up, getting faster and faster, and from everything we know about physics, it's not going to slow down. If this is true, in around 22 billion years from now, the force of dark energy driving the universe's expansion will overcome all other forces of physics, literally causing galaxies to be destroyed, the solar system to be ripped apart, Earth will then explode, and finally, the literal atoms in everything will be ripped apart. So if any humans are around then, they will be literally ripped apart, atom by atom, from the universe itself. Enjoy your dreams tonight. Further that you look into dark history, you start to realize just how dark it really is. This woman behind me, this is Lorleen Wallace. She was the first female governor of Alabama, and she was diagnosed with stage 4 cervical cancer. Dark history for Lorleen was that, legally, doctors did not have to tell her. They only told her husband. They let that sink in. She was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer, terminal cancer, and only her husband was told. Her husband decided not to tell her. Legally, he didn't have to. It was thought at the time that women's nerves were too fragile to be able to handle news like this, so only their husbands were told. I think we're probably going to cover this on the podcast, because this is actually a pretty in-depth story, if you want to listen. Basically, the way this story ends is that Lorleen, she does become governor. She runs, but she only lives through the first year of her term. She was never initially told she was dying. Creepy last words people said right before dying. A 20-year-old gang member was dying of primary liver cancer. In his last days, hours, and moments, he was angry. The family called the hospice nurse into the room and told her that they thought he was going. He wasn't responding, his eyes were glossy, his skin was cold, the end was imminent. His lovely mother whispered to him to go towards the light, to her Jesus. He opened his eyes, looked at her, and said, F your Jesus. A second or two later, he slowly turned his head to the left and got the most horrific look on his face as if he was looking at something that they couldn't see. And horrified, his face contorted and he screamed with his last breath, eyes wide. Oh sh! Oh sh! Oh no! Then he made a guttural noise and promptly fell back into the bed and died. Every family member was shaking and too frightened to speak. The hospice nurse left the room and took two days off. She said she doesn't care if she never finds out what he saw.